that. And we want chat. Okay. And maybe I can excuse me. There we go. And there. All right, Ongband. <laughs> I think I can slide this out. I always found their interface really interesting because, you know, I'm used to games all being in one window and they actually have it rigged up. But you can actually open up uh, and set up even more windows than this. Uh, each window conveying different information. I don't know. I, I, I've never seen another game do something like this, and I've, I've always found it to be interesting. I don't know if it's a good idea or a terrible idea, but it works for this game. Every so often, usually once or twice a year, I just weirdly feel compelled to break this game out again and play it and lose again. should probably check to see if there's a new version. I hope I'm not playing a really old version, because I just dug it out of my files. <laughs> I was just like, what game do I feel like playing? Oh yeah, I, this one! Anyway, uh... Oh, let's see. Let's make a character. Let's see. Doesn't really matter. Let's see. The race, though. This, this matters a lot. Um, hmm. What do I feel like playing today? Well... Trillion, trillion, grabbed a trillion what? <laughs> grabbed a trillion gerbils because they were on sale at an amazing price. Now you're looking to resell them for a significant markup. Even if you only made a dollar a piece, that would still be an exorbitant profit. We touch waifu cards. <laughs> Okay, what am I doing with a mouse? I don't need a mouse for this game. I mean, you can play the game with a mouse, but I'm not going to. It's been a while. It's going to take me a little bit just to remember all the commands, because this is a very complex game. Okay, so basically the rule is with character creation, the better it is, the slower you level up. If you play a human, you kind of suck, but your XP is normal. Oh dear, from the Nept. Okay, Hyperdimension Neptunia and uh, all those things. Yeah, I got a friend who's into all of that stuff. I haven't heard of Trillion, though. Okay, so. <laughs> Half Elf. Yeah, that's already 10% markup on your level up speed. But, I mean. Yeah, half elf ain't so great, but you get infravision, and I'm a firm believer that you have to have infravision in this game. Like, you, you can get it from magic items, but you have to have infravision in this game. Otherwise, yeah, I just I just don't see playing it without that. So full on elf. Hobbit says no, basically everyone is going to get in for vision of some level, except human. Oh, and this is also a human. I know Dunadan doesn't exactly... It, it's, it's a, it's, this game's set in Tolkien's world, and apparently a Dunadan is a human who went to wherever the heck it was the elves sail, and then came back, and for some reason it makes them mildly superhuman. By which I mean they're ridiculous, but they take forever to gain levels, and they don't get in for vision. So, um, the most ridiculous class you can play is, of course, Legolas. I mean, Legolas. I mean, Legolas technically isn't one of these, but <laughs> I think he's up here. But this is the most ridiculous race you can be. But you're not very wise. Am I rather quiet today? Hmm. How about now? This game will not have sound effects, so I don't even need to worry about the balance of that. Is that a little bit better? Right! That was because yesterday I was doing Guild Wars and, um, yeah, Nico couldn't be heard over me. <laughs> I had to balance mine to his. Okay, let me see. Anyway, so we could do... 
We could do a super ultimate death elf with the best stats possible that can see invisible creatures. I'm actually kind of fond of the half troll. They just have the greatest strength and they regenerate and their XP modifier is not bad. They kind of suck at everything, but they're really strong and they're really hard to kill. Um, I, I'm, I'm fond of half trolls. The high elves are just ridiculous. Dwarves are actually really good. Like... I mean, you can get resist blindness other ways. The sense ore and minerals is kind of pointless once you get past, you know, once you start getting treasure seeking rods. Um, but they just have good stats, and they, they, I mean, they, they got a good start. They have good stats, and the XP isn't so burdensome as long as you're a melee class. Which one do we want to go with? Or do we want to go with something weird, like hobbits? Oh joy, I can identify mushrooms. That's important. Oh look, I have less hit points than anyone else. Well, I'm sure hit points aren't important. Yeah, that's the other reason I like trolls, is they have the best hit points in the game. Dwarves the second best hit points. Man, a lot of people have crappy hit points. Huh. It's a old classic roguelike that continues to get patches and updates to this day. It's a very old school roguelike, like based on Tolkien old school, like, like, yeah, one of the first ones to come out. It was originally called The Mines of Moria before it had a bunch of stuff added to it. Well, nobody's suggesting anything. I'm going to go ahead and take a dwarf. There's just something about them dwarves that I, I like. I don't I can't quite put my finger on it though. Okay, so now the classes work kinda like the races, where the better your class, the harder it is to gain levels. So if I just went with a warrior, just straight warrior, I would be pretty tough. Um a dwarven warrior's good. Uh not very smart, but but pretty tough, pretty good at fighting. Uh, a mage, I would not want to play. I would want to go back and play something that's not a dwarf. Well, I mean, I mean, you could play a dwarven mage. It's actually not as stupid as it sounds. I mean, your intelligence is awful, which is your key stat. Like, your stats are in the wrong places. But being immune to blinding is not bad and yeah it's it's it, this is doable actually dwarven priest pfft, there you go good stuff uh no, dwarven rogue is just a mistake dwarven ranger is, is just a mistake i mean yeah no dwarven paladin though this is the slowest well, I mean, I mean, you could be way slower at leveling than that. You got good hit points. You got good strength, good constitution, good wisdom. It all just kind of comes together for a priest or a paladin or a warrior. Ah, what do we feel like playing? A heavy spellcaster? A thug that just walks around thumping everything over the head? A thug that runs around thunking everything over the head and is magical. Be a paladin? Okay, paladin it is. So we're going to be a little bit slow on the leveling up, but uh, I will take random. Ooh, those are terrible stats. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, no. Let's, let's re-roll that. Well, I mean, that's a fairly nimble dwarf, but look at those. Elevens? Okay, that's averaging a little bit better. Um, don't like that constitution and dex, but this is playable. So, yeah. Well, I mean, we're not going to be stealthing. Stealth is like its own kind of armor. Stealth can be ridiculous in this game. 
Dwarves, dwarves don't stealth. They just don't. I don't know. Enemies can just smell them from a mile away. Maybe their beards make too much noise somehow. Maybe they have to tie little bells in them in the braids. I have no idea. They're just the worst at stealth. We're not good at disarming traps. We're not good at using magic devices. That would be an intelligence of eight and a dex of seven talking there. Perception. Oof. <sighs> yeah, our saving throw actually isn't so bad. All right, I can work with this. This is not an ideal character, but I can work with this. I mean, they're all going to die. Every character I make dies. I've had games I've survived as long as a month. Playing so carefully, trying so hard. And then one day, something horrible happens, or I make a mistake, and all of a sudden, my character's dead. Usually I get greedy. <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's... It's she. It's it's the the Shelub, Shela, whatever it's called, the spider thing. I I can probably, I, I can I can just take a few of the items that is. I, I, no no, I died. I didn't think you could one shot me. <laughs> Ugh. All right, you're the only child of a dwarven warrior. You are a credit to the family. You have dark brown eyes, straight black hair, a two foot beard, and a dark complexion. All right, what are we going to name you? I could take a random name. Mm. Eh, we'll just go with this. Okay. Right. So. All right, it has been a little bit. First thing I need to do is I need to learn... No, 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 that's rest. Ah, lowercase r is reading scrolls. What was spell casting? What was spell casting? Great information, create a character, exploit dungeon, tacky monsters, playing the game, command, descri command descriptions. Is this it? Hold on. I'm looking for, there's a table somewhere in here of every single key and what it does. And it's been long enough that I need to find that table and consult it. Run my eyeballs back and forth on it. This is just descriptions of what every button does. I don't, I, I'm just hoping, can I scroll faster please? Spacebar makes it easier. Okay, nope. Spoiler menu, user menu, historic information, customize the game, option descriptions. Maybe it was under playing the game. Ah, ah, here we go. Here we go. Okay. A, aim a wand, capital A, activate it. Yeah, this is one of those kind of games. There's you, You'll be continually surprised at the level of detail to it. And just the amount of things you can do. I mean, it's not quite net hack level, but it's 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 got a lot it can do. Okay, capital E is eat. Lower uh, lower E is equipment, fire, fuel. Yeah, I remembered capital G. What I'm looking for is right M. Casting a spell is lowercase M. Right. Okay. Yep. Fire default air ammo is H. Okay, I think that'll get me by. So, I have detect evil. Poo. Okay, it's important. I cast that spell. The first time you cast a new spell, you gain a little experience. So I got 11 XP out of that. That's important. All right, what in the world do I have equipped? I have a dagger, a wooden torch, and that is all. Well, I'm going to pick up a rapier. It's not a 
exactly a strength based weapon, but it's cheap. So an average of 6.4. Oh man, the dagger is averaging more damage than the rapier. Crap, it was really bad. Not really, definitely not a strength based weapon. Well, that's stupid. All right, that's fine. And I mentioned this the other day. One of the weird things about this game is originally you could, you know, normally, and there's even a setting you can turn back on. You can sell stuff in shops normally. However, they made the default setting items can never be sold. And way more money just spawns at the dungeon because that made it so that... Because before, it'd be like you'd constantly be like, oh, I need to have this and this, and you'd fill your inventory up with things, and then you'd have to go to the surface, sell it all, go back down. A few minutes later, you've loaded up your entire inventory with garbage that you need to sell again, and it was tedious and inconvenient. So by just saying all items are worth zero to sell, and just you find more gold lying around, it balances out, and it saves you from the up-down thing, and... It's frustrating when you find a legendary artifact and you can't sell it. <laughs> but you know that it balances out, so, you know, you kind of put up with it. Alright, let me see. I want a leather shield. Okay. I want soft leather armor. As a paladin, I can get away with wearing basically anything I want. Um... Like, as a wizard, you can't wear gloves without worrying about how it's going to impact your uh, spell casting. And armor is is a real problem if you're a, if you're a spell caster. Just in general, the weight of armor interferes with your uh, MP. But as a paladin, armor is my jam. I wear all the armor. As much as I can staple to my body. Okay, so we're a level one paladin, and you might think that that being a paladin means that we're awesome. You would be wrong. In fact, I better take an additional precaution before I go in there because, well, let's just say I've lost a few characters on the first floor. Did I say a few? I meant a lot. <laughs> it's shockingly easy to go in. I'm going to buy all the oil I can. Why would you buy lamp oil when you don't have a lamp? Because. You'll see. Okay. This place seems reasonably safe. A metallic purple potion. Let's immediately quaff it and see what it does to us. I feel resistant to fire. Oh, good. It's not a potion of poison or vomiting. Okay. I can fight an ant. No problem. I can fight an acolyte. Oh, the acolyte was able to do four damage, but that's okay. I beat him. I leveled up. And with the paladin, I gain a lot of HP on level. And I learn a useful spell. And that'll give me... That not, not only heals me, but since it's the first time I cast that spell, I gain some XP, which will help me to my next level. Okay. By pushing dot, I basically move until there's something relevant to see. Alright. I kind of want to kind of want to wait till my SP recovers. This is actually about as formidable a character as you can make. Most of the characters I've lost have been wizards, admittedly. I've made a lot of wizards. Okay, I'm going to try to dig. No, that's disarm. No, that's drop. Crap. How do I dig? I forgot it! Okay, okay, dig, dig, dig. What is dig? I'm a dwarf, so I'm good at it. And I'm pretty sure this is a door anyway. A hidden door. I'm not very good at spotting those yet. T! Okay. Yeah, see, it was a secret door. 
for being a dwarf. I'm ridiculous at digging. It's one of the great things about being a dwarf is I can just dive into the walls. A surprisingly useful trick. Okay. So, no monsters, but I can see a scroll and a book. Even though, even though they're not on the screen, my character can see them. So, yep, there's that. Let's read this arcane scroll. We don't know what it does. Blessing, okay. Wasn't summoning giant man-eating worms to rip me apart. Oh, gold. The dwarf can sum sense ores. It's a stupid ability, but it's very useful at the beginning. Okay. Yeah, I forgot just how strong the paladin was. Like, I'm actually not being threatened by things right now. But things can turn very quickly. Now, I'm intentionally doing something dangerous right now. Dangerous and stupid. This is a giant white mouse. It breeds explosively. I saw one. I could have immediately killed it. But I waited. Because I am greedy for the XP. And I'm being... Very, keeping one eye on my hit points while I'm doing this. If they get behind me and surround me, they can rip me apart. Also, you may notice that I can see them even when they're outside my light radius. That's in for vision. As I said at the beginning, I do not believe the game is playable without in for vision. Alright. I just hit level 3. Alright, I have learned Bless. That went well. Letting them breed was a risk, but I thought I could do it. Jackals. There are things here that could possibly kill me, but I think I'm okay. Sword of the Stars, the Pit. Nope, I haven't tried that one. Paper Dungeon. I actually don't know that one either. I've played a lot of roguelikes, but nowhere near all of them. Only a handful. I actually really like some of the Japanese takes on the genre. Like, um... Stupid geek. Back here, you! Like, um... Sorry, brain melted for a second. There was one in, um... Lufia 2, Rise of the Sinistrals... There's this one, Azure Dreams, that I really liked. Uh, there's, there's a bunch of them. Ah, Scroll of Treasure Detection. Okay, that's a big deal. Not that there were any treasures to detect here. This floor sucks. But it's good to know those scrolls. Scroll of Light. Okay. One Way, yeah, One Way Heroics. Yeah, I played a bunch of one-way heroics. I had fun with that one. Was it you that recently told me about the that there's a sequel? Oh, shit. Ah, fork! See? See how quickly I died? I got distracted for a moment. Like, at the early levels, you are so ridiculously fragile. Not that you're all that much stronger, you know, even at the high levels. Like, things kill you. Yeah. Yeesh. I only got distracted for a second. It was just a moment. Yeah, okay. <sighs> it's okay. This is how it goes. We know what this genre is. We know exactly what we're getting into when we play this sort of game. <laughs> this is how it goes. And as I said, like, a dwarf paladin is about as durable as you can be. If I had been paying closer attention to my hit points, I wouldn't have attacked quite so freely. I'd have backed off and started throwing lamp oil on him and set him on fire. That's what the lamp oil was for. <laughs> okay. All right. So, we want to try the dwarven paladin again, or we want to try something else? Because I can do Dwarf Paladins. 
I can. The furthest I ever got in the game was either a dwarf or a troll paladin. I can't remember which. I can't remember which now. I think it might have been a half troll. Anyway. And we'll just go with dwarf paladin again. Oh, let's see. Eh. 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 Come on. Okay, those are better. 17 strength, 17 wisdom, 18 constitution. I can work with that. Let me tell you. Trolls, they, are, they have a charisma problem. Charisma isn't listed, but it's, it's there somewhere. It's it's there somewhere. It affects like sales prices, I think. Actually, there's a way I can get it to just uh, generate a new character of the same race and class and everything, and just put a second on them every time you lose one. There's a way you can do it. I think you have to load the the dead character because it's permadeath. There's no getting around it. Okay, this time. Could just take a broadsword. You know what? No. I want all the armor I can get. In fact, okay, let me see. Perhaps a leather shield, a metal cap, gauntlet, boots, and a cloak. Got the cloak last time. And you know what? I'm going to buy a shovel. And the rest of our money goes into those all important flasks of oil. So that I at least have something. Okay, and I'm going to equip everything. Sticking with the knife, it does more damage on average than the shovel. Uh, yes, there it was. Okay. So the, the town at the top stays the same, and every time I go down, the dungeon is randomly dungeon uh, generated. Like, literally, if I walked up these stairs right now and walked back down, it generated a new dungeon. But the town always stays the same until you die and make a new character. That's just, that's just how the game works. I think I can take the snake. Okay, 13 out of 18 hit points. I'm okay. And everything has to be... Oh, shit! Welcome to Ong Band. Why do I like this game so much? Why do I keep coming back? Why do I keep coming back for more torture? <laughs> I do not know. All right, I'm just gonna do a point buy this time. All right, let's see. All right. Let's see, constitution, that's a good thing to have. Dexterity, probably a good thing to have. Wisdom, that's all of our magic. I'm willing to skimp a little. Hmm. Can't go into the low numbers on things. I guess four intelligence is barely enough to regulate bodily functions, so I guess that's okay. How you get and spend bones and blood? Yes, okay, um, okay, how that works in, uh, Realm Grinder. Oh, wow, my daddy was a prison guard. I'm the black sheep of the family. Okay, so, um, collect the green goo. Tomorrow, you will get one of the other monsters. I believe it is every day a different another monster unlocks. I believe that's how it worked. And then you'll be able to spend bones on skeletons and blood on vampires. 
The other monsters are coming. They're coming. Just, just give them time. But you'll get all three. Jeez, oh, a scroll of summon monster. Ah. Uh. Admittedly, there is a safer way of dealing with uh, scrolls. I'm being, I guess, impatient. I could bring them to the surface and sell them for um, nothing. And in that way, I don't remember whiskey being an item. Hmm. I can't afford a shovel this time. Okay. And in that way, I can have the shopkeepers identify them. I basically lose the item. Okay, item G W I G W I G W I G W. There we go. Everything's equipped. Well, all the things I have. If I could actually get equipment it's on 108. Hmm. I mean, I'm not all that much further. Um, I mean, if you're really stuck, the place to go is Goof. Goof's not a wiki. He has, like, everything, I guess. Every build for every level. Gray Mold. Gray Mold. I think... Uh, I think I can get away with this. Yeah, okay. I can't remember what it can and can't do. There's a lot of things. Some of the beholders and slimes and other stationary things will will make you sad. I don't really like learning detect evil. It's a stupid spell. <laughs> but whatever. The wizard can actually choose which spells he learns. Oh, it's an icky thing. A white icky thing. All right. Should I quaff the potion? Yeah, I should quaff the potion. It paralyzed me. And time passed and it wore off and no monster caught me while I was paralyzed. Otherwise, I'd be dead again. <laughs> Floating eye. Ooh, it gazes to paralyze. Okay, great. I'm in the paralysis dungeon. 116. Um, I don't remember exactly. Um, what we've been unlocking mostly has lately has been relating to lineages. Uh, I probably shouldn't throw a whole bunch of spoilers at you. If you wanted spoilers, you'd just ask the internet for them. And that was not a very good hit hit point gain on that level. Still, I now know how to cure light wounds, so I won't complain too much. Oh, well, wooden torches, always nice. Oh. I love just being able to dive through walls. Oh, hey, look, another one. 23 more copper pieces. Good, good, good. Uh -huh. Okay, secret door. I can't wait till I learn the prayer for detecting secret doors and traps. That'll make things a lot easier. Uh, let's eat a ration of food. I've actually starved to death in this game a couple of times. I played trolls a lot, though. They need a lot of food. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna dare to go deeper. So there's like a hundred floors, and every floor is harder than the floor above it. Um, I have one scroll of recall, so at least I've got that going for me. All right, I'm going to do the smart thing, sort of. I'm going to read these scrolls, 
Ooh, scroll of detection. But I'm going to do it on top of the staircase. So if it's a scroll of summon monster, I'll immediately jump up the stairs. That's what I should have done last time. So the treasure detection, I'm not seeing it on the map. It says it's 12 north to west. Ah, uh, these breed explosively, and I think they're acid, so they can wreck my gear. Mm, the cut purse might have something of value on him. Come on, cut purse. He'll also steal from me and teleport away, so... I got him, but he didn't have anything. If I can kill the worm before it breeds... I get two steps for every one step it gets. Got it! It didn't get me with its acid even once. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh, oh shit. Uh. Cure light wounds! Ha ha! I could have failed the spell right there, you know. Okay. I am now going to hide and rest. I'm going to sit here and pass. Okay. We're healed. Ha ha! I am level four. Okay. I can now cast Bless. I am indeed awesome. Unless I run into a soldier again like I did my first character. Okay. We're going to dive to floor three. Foolishly. I don't have the light spell, so, um, can't do anything about how dark this room is. You know, maybe instead of drinking this one, I should just throw it at something. A salamander that's asleep. Well, fire's not going to do much. I'm going to throw the potion at it. Okay, it didn't do anything. We have no idea what that potion is. Good grief, it didn't even wake up the salamander. <laughs> wow, crit! On a sleeping but Oh, great, what's this? Scruffy-looking hobbit. I need a ranged weapon. I mean, paladins aren't known for their skill with the bow or the sling, but it's good to have one. I feel there is not but cobwebs here. Now, this is something interesting. Um, it will give you feelings about the floor that you're on. So this floor isn't going to have a lot of treasure. It's somewhat deceptive. There will still be items here, and some of them may be valuable. Uh, you'll feel all kinds of different things. Anyway, I'm going to go up and then down. Yeah, this place seems reasonably safe is all I'm feeling, which is a lie. It'll say that about everything for the first, like, 30 floors. Later on, though, it'll be like, like, uh, you'll start feel getting all kinds of messages. My favorite is this, the one about omens of death all around you. Uh, or something like you feel like you should flee in terror or something like that. It's like, oh, oh my. Those are the best places. Okay, all right. Do I risk it? They're quick moving and they breed explosively, which is a deadly combination. But I have a door, and if I lock it, I'm pretty sure that louse that lice cannot go through a locked door. They can't break it down. I'm gonna let this thing breed. And I'm gonna farm it for XP. As long as it does not surround me, I'm okay. That's a wizard back there. What's he doing? He's making it impossible for this to work and potentially casting spells at me. That's what he's doing. All right, I'm going to back up like this. I've got a staircase here. As long as it doesn't surround me on both sides, I'm okay. And I can do this. And even though I'm only fighting them on one side, it's you can see what's happening to my hit points over here. But that's okay. I'm leveling up. 
I've already gained a level doing this. Two levels? Yes, this is exploitative. The game is so impossibly merciless that I feel nothing. No, this is perfectly acceptable. The game is going to do every horror against us. We take every edge that this game gives us. And we don't feel bad about it. Uh-oh. Come on. Oh, that's right. Because I'm a paladin, I can never actually get my... Uh, I've got a 19% fail chance now. If I were an actual priest, I could get it up to a 100% chance that the spell would work. But as a paladin, not quite. There's always a chance your spells will fail. All right. I'm a little worried about what that apprentice might do to me. But I can catch him out now. Now he can't blind me, which he couldn't anyway because I was a dwarf. Or cast fear or whatever other thing he was going to do. Okay. Another level. We're now level 7. I love the fact that I can heal myself. Of course, even if you're playing a class that doesn't have healing magic, you'll bring items that heal you everywhere. <laughs> but it is convenient being able to heal this way. Okay. Eight. Ha ha ha. Power leveling. Now, another thing to note, it counts every... It counts every single um, one that I kill. So you can see I've killed 542 of them already. It gives you information based on what you've done with them. So you've observed that they breed explosively. You've observed their bite attack. Um, you, you know how many hit points they have in their armor rating because you fought them enough. If I were to start throwing spells that do damage, like if I threw fire at them, it would tell me if they're weak to fire. If I threw ice at them, it would note how resistant they are to that, and so on. Okay. I am now level 9. I could learn 6 more spells! I'm not gaining money or a lot of other things, but I am gaining XP. Now, the other thing is, while each level takes more XP than the previous, the monsters give you less and less experience also as you level. So it's actually growing exponentially harder to uh, gain XP off of these. And you can't just dive, dive nine floors down now that you're level nine. No, it's A, that's not exactly how the floors work in difficulty, and B... You need gear. Like, you really need stuff. And I'm not getting stuff right now. Alright. One more level, and then we're moving on. This was just too good an opportunity to pass up. But like I said, breeds explosively are like the most dangerous things. Like, yes, you can profit greatly off of them, but they can really ruin your day. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to read one of these. Trap detection. Okay, that's good. Uh, if, if this were a cursed cloak, I'd be very sad putting it on, but it's not. I'm just going to equip it. If I run or not now, it's cloak one worn. My original cloak is non-magical. It's possible that this is magical, but pretty unlikely. And I'm going to have to run around in it for a while before I know. Because my character's not so great at identifying magical items right now. Hmm. Now that... Damage around of 10... Uh, yes. Even if this is completely non-magical, and we don't know if it is or isn't, it is definitively better than what I have right now. Or so we think. 
So we find our scars. Okay, that's the edge of the detect traps and doors spell that I uh, cast. The scroll. So I'm going to. And you can see the detect traps here. It disappears. It's green over here, and the yellow is at the very edge. All right. Well, off we go. More money. I've gotten a good amount of cash. Hmm. I dare. Um, I should learn the rest of my spells. Uh, let me see. Because what I want is find traps. And I learn them at random. I don't care for remove fear or slow poison so much. I could live without those. There we go. Now, everywhere I go, I have call light, which is important. And can hurt some things. Hence the um, damage number. And find traps and doors, which is a really big deal, because being able to find doors is a big deal. I don't know. I don't know how else to explain. It's important. You want to see the doors and the traps, especially if your low-level character sucks at perception. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'll just use magic for this, thanks. It's one of the advantages of being a paladin. There's naught but cobwebs here as well, is there? This worm breeds explosively. It does frost damage, and frost damage has a chance of destroying your potions. I don't have a single potion that I actually care about. I'm going to quaff them and hope they don't destroy me. Huh, we don't even know what that one did. Ah, potions of true seeing, potions of resist fire. Well, no, that helps. Okay. Okay. They're worth two XP apiece. And they're slow. And the only thing they can do that's scary is break all my potions, and I don't have any. This, this, this is an opportunity that is too good to be passed up. Okay, dangerous to do it this way. Safer if I'm in a tunnel like this, but they're so slow, it takes a long time. But they're quite dangerous. Yeah, I'm a bit nervous of them. There's yellow ones that do dex damage that are like one of the ideal things to go for because it's like, well, yeah, they'll reduce your dexterity to three, but then they can't really do much else. As long as I'm in a tunnel, I'm safe, but I want to be able to go back and forth on the bottom because I'd be, well, it's just way more efficient. Ugh, but every time I get out into the room, I, I get ripped up real fast. Okay. Part of the problem is my lack of armor. My fingers need to learn the old button combinations to do things. Let me tell you, this would be a game to set up macros for. Oh, shit. Oh, out of the way. Out of the way. Out of the way. Oh! Okay, let's not do that again. <laughs> I am being too greedy. I think there are actually a th there was actually a thing for built making your own macros built into the game. Actually, there's a lot of features built into this game for convenience quality of life. Oh, I don't have wooden torch. Or, hey, I don't have a light source equipped. I gotta go equip another torch. Not that I care. Now you'll notice that InfraVision doesn't let me see the worms. I can only see them in the light. That's because they're cold-blooded, and that is a real factor in this game. Anything that's cold-blooded and uh, basically invisible, you can't see. That includes um, ghosts. So you have to actually get sea invisibility to deal with them. 
Yeah. I'm just fighting worms in the dark. It's fine. I'm leveling like crazy, and this will let us get to the more interesting parts of the game. The Dwarven Paladin is like the ultimate tank. It's as close as you can get to not giving a, just not caring and running around splatting everything. Let me tell you, mages, they don't get to do this. <laughs> mages are very difficult early on, but their spells are so awesome. If you get the rare spell books, like there's four common spell books that you can just buy, and then there's four spell books that can only be found that are super, like, practically legendary items. And yeah, you need those. <laughs> you need to learn the spells in those. But the problem is, you don't really learn the spells. You have to carry the spell book everywhere to use them. Which wouldn't be such a big deal if it wasn't for the fact that fire exists. And fire is the bane of our existence. Because, oh, and being blind or in the dark makes it impossible to read the book. One of the advantages of the dwarf is that I can never be blinded. So I can always cast my spells. Unless I'm confused or in the dark or... Okay, I can't always cast my... But I'm resistant to one thing. There's a lot of effects in this game. There's a lot of things that can just screw you over. But paralysis effects are the worst, in my opinion. Oh, by the way, light is permanent when I cast it. When I cast light here, I permanently lit this area. Alright, we're going to move on. One more level here. And then we're getting... Alright. I've milked this long enough. Level 13. Not bad. Ooh, sling. Yes, please. Alright. So... My cloak was actually a plus three cloak that I found. Nice. Uh, the weapon wasn't so magical. Okay, but still, plus three cloak. That is not bad. Okay, what we're looking for is... Ooh, I'm hungry. I will eat more of my rations. Ooh, now that's lucky. I just found another prayer book. Not an amazing one, but one of them. Okay. So, let me see. I haven't learned... Okay, I need to learn portal still. Okay, there we go. Um... Yeah, I need to learn Resist Heat and Cold, but I have to be level 15 before I can do that. Don't care about Sanctuary quite as much. But, uh, Cure Serious Wounds and Satisfy Hunger means you never want to set this book down, ever. Those are critical spells. Random Teleportation. That gets you out of deadly situations. And gets you into new deadly situations. Uh, oh, uh, no, don't, don't cast spells when you don't have the MP. Okay, M, B, C, M, B, D. Getting the XP for casting each of the spells. F. And that spell just makes me full. It's great. Okay, uh, make that disappear. Just dig through it. Alright. I'm actually thinking it's time to go back to town. That's what I think. I'm going to read my r scroll of recall. And this is important to know. 
It takes a certain number of turns after using the scroll before you actually go to town. It does not help you escape from danger at all. If you're caught in a situation that's bad, that ain't going to pull your bacon out of the frying pan. Right. So I can sell this speckled potion. Okay, infravision. And whenever my character finds potions of infravision from now on, he'll know. Oh, those are scrolls of darkness. Well, that's the worst thing. Don't want those. Black market. I can't buy anything there anyway. Uh, okay, what do I not have? I don't have anything around my neck or on my head. Oh, dear. My melon is completely unprotected. And I need some ammunition. There, now I have something for my sling. Do you have any hats? Oh, an iron helmet. Yes, please. Hello there, Ginga Gaming. Let me see. Okay. I will put that on my head. And now... Hmm. Soft leather and leather sandals are both kind of garbage. I uh, can't really do any better than it, though. Nope, I'm s too poor to afford anything else. Uh, out of the way! Okay, there we go. Slip back up. Okay, and now what I need is... I only have 85 bucks. I can't buy a scroll of word of recall if shit goes down like I'm I'm not gonna be able to climb back up out of here except to do it the hard way the long slow climb I need to get a scroll of word of recall oh right M B no 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 it's M A F okay fingers remember M A F Okay, so you're going to be casting that like a thousand times, M-A-F. Trap detection, I don't need that. I'll pick those up, throw those away. I don't need those. Okay, the torches, sure, we can carry those, but... Oh, and this is impassable walls. Generally, they're only around the edges of the dungeon, but later on, you'll you'll start seeing them more. And whenever you see them, you know there's something bad in the area. Hmm. Hmm. Another something. Let's read it. Get read. What's this do? Oh, it was phase door. Okay. Still don't know what these are. I bet they're potions of boldness. Bet you anything they're potions of boldness. Let's go find out. I mean, they could be potions of neutralized poison, okay? I guess that's true, too, but... Uh, okay, hold on. I gotta go to an actual potion shop to sell it. Boldness. Called it. Hmm. All right. I have one potion or scroll of Word of Recall. As long as none of these urchins steal it from me. Yes, there are people in the town who will rob you. The jerks. Now, dark red potions. Well, let's just quaff one. Okay, we don't know what it is. That might be neutralized poison. Ha ha ha. Ranged combat. 
Alright, what horrible thing do these do? Oh, scrolls of light. Tch. Be rid of them. Be rid of them all. Okay. Also, you have to all, always consider weight. Because I've got 18 strength, I don't have to worry about it so much. But weight is an issue. Every book is three pounds, for example. Yeah. No traps yet. That's good. Not that the traps on these floors would be particularly bad for me. Uh, if I wanted a blessing, I'd just cast it myself. Thank you very much. Thanks, but no thanks. Alright, we want to descend back into the dark depths. Icky green potions. We don't know what those do either yet. Okay, fine. It's going to be related to another status effect. Sometimes you can dig real deep. You can head down to a way deeper level than you should be and super carefully sneak along and then steal, so just mine into the walls and get away with just a little bit of super treasure. And that's a pretty big deal when you can pull it off. I've managed to... Oh! Our first encounter with a named enemy. The world is full of named enemies, and they're special, and once they're dead, they're dead forever. This one is, well, not really all that special. It's just Farmer Maggot's dog. But uh, as you go deeper, you'll find all kinds of characters, like Gollum, Saruman, uh, I'm sorry, Gol I meant Schmeagol. Bayorn for some reason and he's a bear he's in his bear form and he's mad roaring mad and just attacks bull roarer and so so many other characters I've gotten slain by the Balrog of Moria twice that's that, that's about as far as I've ever gotten but hey, the Balrog of Moria, I think that's that's pretty good. It's much better than the characters I've had starve to death or die on the first floor. <laughs> Those things will poison me. Oh, hey, look, it's these again. No explosively breeding for you. Uh, can I take a Naga? I think I... Yeah, I can. Totally can. Yeah, I'm level 13. What am I worried about? Sure, I'm under-equipped for my level, but it's still only floor 3. We're fine. Anybody ever play the old door games like Exotilis, Usurper, Legend of the Red Dragon, stuff like that back in the BBS days? I think part of my, my fondness for this game is in some weird way it reminds me of them. Which is weird, because those were all text-based. I mean, technically this game is pure ASCII graphics too. I'm running a graphics pack that actually actually comes with it these days. Uh, <laughs> you actually have a variety of choices of graphic packs, and I just stepped on a teleport trap. I should have been detecting traps. Not detecting traps is a stupid way to die. Alright, let's see. Flask of oil. Ha ha ha. Alright. There you go. Six flasks of oil and no more yellow jelly. They can drain mana. I don't know what else they can do. Some of them do terrible things like make your food rot. I hate the jellyfish. I hate them. Just don't don't go don't go near them. They're the worst. No, that's soft leather. I'm already wearing soft leather armor. 
Aha, that looks better. Okay. Let's see. I'll just throw iron shot. Ah, oh, crap, spiders. Poison is another thing that'll kill you a lot in this game. Okay, there we go. Beat it to death with iron shots. Okay, studded leather. That is a significant upgrade. And then... Drop a J. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nope. Looking for a downs to something wretches. You're hit with poison. Giant dragonflies. Where's the thing that was retching poison? Oh, good. Who cares? I got gold and a downstairs and a lantern. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay. So much better than torches. No, seriously, so much better than torches. The light source that you use is a big deal. There's a reason it has its own slot. Light sources are a really big deal. Now I can see two tiles out. Oh, hi, Yeek. You ain't getting away. Two scrolls of glass, don't care. What do we have here? Schnagas! Hold on. Stop walking around me. Fight me one on one. Duel me honorably so I can stab you to death. Brutally. I mean, honorably. Okay. Finally, searching for traps. Ooh, a rusty wand! A bronze wand. Hmm. These are interesting. You can carry them around, and the deeper you are in the dungeon when you open them, the better the items. I'm just going to open this one here. And it actually damaged my constitution. Hmm. That's unfortunate. They're also almost always trapped. Actually, did I say almost? I think I don't remember ever seeing them not trapped. Okay, let's see. Kobolds! Ah! I could have played a kobold. Those really don't look like kobolds. Oh, crap. Zombified kobold. I don't like fighting the undead so much. The undead are bad news often. They have nasty little status effects. Like speed drain. Not that one though, thankfully. But a lot of undead have a speed drain later. It's terrible. Sometimes I remember I play hobbits just because I hate the XP drain and they sustain experience. And it's sustain experience is one of the harder effects to find. Hmm. I need more monies. Come on. Okay. That is a dead end. Huh. It looked to me like there would have been more to it. 
don't like how low my MP is. I should probably rest instead of fighting. Okay, now we're in good shape. Another unidentified magic item. Large kobolds. Seriously, you don't look like a kobold. You look like a Warcraft orc. And he had a balsa wood staff! Yay, the weakest of woods! A nice, sturdy balsa wood staff to crack over my enemies' heads. Oh, just tunnel through this. It's a dwarf. I don't even have to worry about what kind of wall I'm digging into. It's all... I can just rip through anything. Other races, you're like, crap, the green walls are practically indestructible. I have to carry a mining pick branded with acid that causes earthquakes. Okay, now I can get through them. I'm only slightly exaggerating. <laughs> dwarf, though. I'm not I'm not even using a shovel. I'm using just just a dagger. Oh, like a shield. Yeah, sure, why not? Another thing I wish I had was some scrolls and things of identify. How are we looking now? Well, a little bit better. Okay. Arrows. Oh, hi there. Uh-huh. I wonder if those will... Uh, could I be so lucky that those turn out to be magical? Probably not. Probably not. Hmm. Not seeing the next staircase. Ooh, gold. Gold. A dwarf can never leave it behind, or copper is the case may be. Ooh, right, brown molds, confusion. <sighs> okay, got it. And I'm not confused anymore. Okay. Uh, nope. Don't want you breeding. That'll burn up all my spell books. And scrolls. If you have a scroll of Word of Recall and one of those burns it, you're just out of luck. And it can be almost impossible to climb out of this dungeon sometimes. I usually carry multiple scrolls of Recall and then I'll see if I can get a Staff of Recall or something. I don't think I've ever seen dragonflies asleep. I don't think it happens. By the way, why am I carrying three rations of food? Why am I burdening my inv- Oh, no, not those. I need those. These. Am I burdening my inventory with something I don't need since I have Satisfy Hunger as a permanent spell? Ooh. Hey, get out of there. Don't disturb my digging. Ooh, Tengu. Ooh, oh, ah, mmm. Fast-moving demon that blinks away, in, blinks in and out of existence. No other demon matches his teleport mastery. Uh, I think I might suddenly need to cast about chant. Okay, that'll help some. Now, where'd the Tengu go? It teleported away somewheres. Chant is basically a longer version of bless. Right. 
Well, I don't know where it went, but we're going to keep exploring. Okay, suddenly this place is feeling dangerous. Torch of Brightness. No, I got a lantern. I'm good. Magical torches are not so great because they get used up. But a magical lantern would be amazing. A lantern of brightness. Oh, man. A lantern of true sight could be awesome, too. So there's some really crazy light sources you can get late. Oh. Hello, Mr. Hippogriff. You are a natural... Cre You're not evil, so blessing won't help. You're from a deeper floor than I'm on. That's not good. Hmm. So we can do that anyway. It does help. What's that Naga doing back there? I can take him. All right. Got him. B. 27% failure chance. I have no MP left. If things go bad, I'll probably die. Okay, you want to fight too, huh? Skeletal kobold, you're nothing to me. Okay. Why was that high level thing over here? Ooh, a granite ring. What I really need is something of identify. Okay. All right. Ooh, those iron shots are magical, more than a little, too. They're potent. I'm wondering about that ring. I'm wondering what it does. All right, let's see. Um, oh, I have a scroll of aggregate monster. Well, not anymore. Magic mapping? Well, those are, I mean, those are okay. I have nothing against them, but I don't usually use them. Some items, it's like, yeah, that's useful, and then you carry them around and never use them, and you're like, well, why do I carry these around if I never use them? Easterling Warrior. You know what? There's too many, entirely too many things in this room. I'm backing up. And snagging that. I could take a shaman. I think I'm ready to go back to the surface. Man, though, I could really go for some scrolls of identify right about now. All right, let me see. Um, yeah, we're going to throw out one last thing. Um, but what? Scroll of protection from evil. It's a good spell, but but yeah. Hmm. Not have been I've had word, I've had the recall go off right as I stumble across something awesome a few times. Where it's like, no, cancel, don't take me back. It's too late. Okay, uh, what is this? Cure lie wounds. What is this? Neutralize poison, heroism, speed. Seriously, okay, we'll recognize all of those things when we find them. We have healing potions, and that's no small thing. Now I'm going to dump a pile of stabs and the like to you. The rusty rons are actually slow monster, confuse monster, magic missile, cure light wounds, some ugh. pine stab. Oh, definitely don't want that. Ah, oh, the granite ring. If I could identify you, but I can't. Okay, it's cursed. Resist lightning. Oh, an adornment. So anyway, 
I mean, it's not entirely useless, but... But, yeah, no, you don't really care for those. At least I don't. Oh, he does not have many items for sale, does he? Um... Hmm. Ring Gouge is doing 10. The Maul would be doing 12 because it's strength based. And then it's magical, so it actually does more than that. Okay, drop that. Okay, let me see. I'm using a small metal shield. There's no way that this wicker work one is better. Now, while it is possible that this cloak could be better than my cloak, I wouldn't count on it. Hmm. I'm going to equip this. And I'm going to drop that. Finally, last thing we're going to do is we're going to purchase more. I'm going to buy one. I'm going to purchase four. What? No, 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 no. Recall. Word of Recall. Purchase it. Yes. Okay. And that, even if one of them burns up, I'll still have plenty. Okay. Well, I could actually purchase some pretty good stuff from the black market. But the black market always marks up all their goods. Let's see if we can get something good out of the regular market first. The legal one. Let's see. Of course, wearing heavier armor does give me a penalty to attack rolls, but I think I want leather scale now. I think I really do. Hmm. <laughs> Helmet of Infravision. Already got Infravision. Thanks anyway. Okay, I want iron boots. I want to clomp around in something that a uh, snake would have more difficulty biting through. Okay. So, we put on our scale mail. We put on our big stompy boots. And we now have 54 armor class. And then... The really cool thing about Word of Recall is not only can it take me to town, but it can take me back to where I left off. I remember when I first started playing the game, I thought I had to use Scrolls of Deep Descent for that. Scrolls of Deep Descent are terrible. They actually take you four floors lower than you've ever been. Or five, maybe. There's a, they're a good way to get yourself killed. Also, Mimic coins later on become one of the deadliest things because they're just really poisonous and they're durable and, I don't know, they're just, they're just, they're just mean. Let's see. If these gauntlets turn out to be magical, that'll be good. When am I doing another Trimps video? Um, I actually don't think that I have enough material on hand to post another one just now. So, when I've recorded enough, maybe later this week. Maybe. Oh, great, giant fruit flies. I don't remember if they did a status effect or not. I think they just bit really hard and often and I am getting my ass kicked. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, okay. 
This is why <laughs> it's so important that I know how to, um, portal. I failed. All these flies are making it difficult to spell. Okay, okay, we're someplace else. Surrounded by more enemies, which I'll chase down gleefully, even though I'm bleeding out. Okay. All right, where? Okay, I was here. And I'm here now. I'm probably safe from the flies. Stupid flies. Our brave, heroic paladin runs screaming away from flies. Because they're terrifying. There's so many of them, and they're huge, and they bite me everywhere in all my tender, unarmored places. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go ahead and use that scroll of identify. I really just bought the scroll so I'd be able to, um, oh, good, a staff of identify. Mm. That is what I wanted. I really only wanted the, let me see, U is U staff, as opposed to A, which uses wands. Anyway, um, yeah, I really just wanted to be able to identify the scrolls on site. understood why they were wands of trap door destruction I'll keep the wand of sleep monster even though a lot of things are immune to sleep it's pretty good against the things that aren't immune to it when it works though my total lack of stealth means they'll wake back up like an instant later I'll take like two steps. It'll be like that scene out of Lord of the Rings when Pepin drops the uh, thing down the well and it makes that huge racket. Fool of a toque. Yeah. That sort of thing is likely to... How magical is my mall? It's a plus two, plus five. Okay. Accuracy and damage up. I like it. Go ahead. Tell me, what is this amulet? An amulet of searching. Well, sure, why not? I'll put it on until I find something better. Okay. Being this deep is already stupid. A dark elven priest. Because things like that are on the loose at this level. I really wish I had something, a rod of treasure detection. Ah, oh, I don't think I can even find those yet. But man, a rod of treasure detection would be the best. I dare. This is a tame and sheltered place. Look, it's an orac. It will murder me. It's an orc captain. It'll murder me more. It's an orc shaman. Okay, he and I can deal with. Bonk. Bonk. <laughs> That's about what I thought. I'm going to back up these stairs now. And maybe, maybe fight a beetle. Okay, I took care of beetle Bailey. Once in a while you'll get a floor like this where you can see where... Oh, shit. really heavy, but you know what? I don't care. I will gladly take the better armor. I want the heaviest stuff I can possibly put on me. I'm now too afraid to attack the frog. Great. And I'm almost dead. Well, not almost dead. I'm actually not that badly beaten yet. Okay, we can rest here for a moment. Oh, hi, Mr. Yeek. A Master Yeek. Okay. You can still use ranged weapons while afraid, thankfully. These floors can be kind of dangerous. 
Don't mind having a spare book. I should probably go back to town and try to buy more prayer book. Huh. I'm going to go someplace else now. Well, okay, I can fight some gallants. Those are not a problem. Shh. I don't mind murdering those. They're just fellow paladins. Or something. Paladins in training, maybe? Okay, I don't know how... I, okay, yeah, I can take on wargs. At least not when there's too many of them. They like to hunt in packs. You know, wolfy behavior. Okay, we... Ooh, white wolves. Well, as long as I'm in a hallway, as long as they're one at a time... Oh, what's all this coming down on me? No, 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 don't, 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 don't flank me. Oh. Okay, all right. What I really want to do... I really wish I had some treasure detection because what I really want to do is I want to find some place where I can dig in and find, like, mine a bunch of gold. As I get deeper, those get better and better. I might find... Well, who knows what I'll find. Copper. Great. That was a low payout. Jade ring. Sure, why not? I slow digestion. Get that out of there. Get that out of there. That's junk too. Is this Warhammer more or less magical than the one I'm already using? Well, we'll just run around smacking things with it until we find out, because I'm too stingy to spend a uh, one of my precious identifies on it. 300 silver, a little better. Aha. Hmm. The veins here aren't very rich. Still, it adds up. And there are a lot of them. Come on, give me the mother love. Oh, what's this? I fought one of you before. Ugh. He's still out. There he is. Okay. And a walnut staff. Yay! I can use that to throw away. And never pick up a staff made of walnut wood again, because they're all apparently staves of light. That's a really nice vein of copper, but... Aside from quantity, it had no value. Okay, we're getting out of here. Word of recall. Oh, uh, pfft. hungry. Satisfy it. I like the idea of a tr the trolls are like always hungry, but then you get satisfy hunger as a spell. It's like I never need to eat again. I can now replace my digestion system with more muscles because it's unnecessary. First thing I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna throw away the scroll. Okay, it's a holy chance scroll. Right. I'm gonna purchase the next prayer book. I have a bunch of weapons in there that are more important if you're not a paladin. Uh, okay, looks like I prefer my new mall. Can I learn? Okay. 
That was the only spell I could learn from this book. But look at what I got coming up. This is an attack spell. Which I'll only have a 50-50 chance of pulling off, but whatever. Healing. Protection from evil is like a landmark in your paladins. Earthquake is stupid. I never use it. I don't know. Maybe it's this ultimate spell. But for me, it's like, ah, it just makes a big mess. I don't like it. Turn on dead is okay. Cure mortal wounds is, you know, kind of a big deal too. Like anything that's cure is, is obviously good. But this one's mostly about the pro evil. Like the attack spell is actually handy in certain situations. You don't think of paladins as using a lot of attack magic, but this is good. This is good. Neutralized poison is also good. Um, I should learn resist heat and cold also, though I only have five spells I can learn, so I I try to be stingy. I tr you know when you get higher wisdom, you can get more spells per level. But I try to be kind of stingy and not learn every spell in a book. If the remaining spells in a book are non-essentials, I'll just be like, forget it. But... But... Resisting, resisting heat and cold is actually good. I think I'm going to equip this leather shield. And I'm going to drop this one. Yeah, I think there's another version of this game, that, a more recent version that came out than what I'm playing right now, because I know they changed how identif uh, identification works. They made it based on runes. So once you learned a rune, you could always identify anything that had that rune. So I'm actually playing, I'm actually playing a retro version. I forget what all else they did. But, hmm, a broadsword of demon slaying. Bolts of slay evil. Hmm. What do you have for me, huh? Restore mana. Enlightenment. Ooh, uh, actually, just uh, plain Jane, Ring of Protection. Yes, please. Uh, that would be very nice. I will equip that immediately. I should actually look to see if I can get another one of those. Let me see. Do I have anything else I need to dump off? No, I think that's everything. Oh, you're there. Um, yeah, Ring of Protection. Oh, plus 13, I think. Yes. There's other things that you get that are better, but I always seriously regret taking off a Ring of Protection. I hate taking them off. Like, it just... I like, I like the armor class. Look, I got a 90 now. I am durable. All right. One sec while I reach over to my idle game. I've been neglecting you. Clunk, 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 clunk. Clunk, clunk, clunk. Okay. That should do it. Uh, get free draw. That's fine. Are you done your thing here? No, but you are now. Oh. And my pets have returned from their journeys. Very nice. Yes. Okay. Uh, one, two, one, two, one. Eh, that'll be good. Okay. Where was I? Can see the recall buff over here. And countdown's over. Foom. Yeah, I think of recall in this game as though it were a buff, because I think that's how the game handles it. I know it's weird, because it's not a buff. It's, it's a countdown until you're teleported. But, you know, whatever. Okay. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh, hi there, Mr. Kvork. Come back, Mr. Kvork. Uh-oh. I think I'm about... Oh, I think I found a lot of orcs. I don't have enough mana to try it again. Problem with using that is that then I don't have mana to heal myself with, but I have potions. That was a lot of orcs. <laughs> but they weren't strong, dangerous orcs. They were more like, well, just a whore. Ooh, play golem. Ooh, uh, I don't know. I can't be halfway to my next level if I beat you. Okay, good. Not so bad. A pewter amulet. A pseudo dragon. Oh, ow. It breathes light. Ha! Which actually hurts the skeleton back there, but not me. Hey, come back here. I shoot you. Got him. All right. One more level and I can start getting it at the new spells. Oh, shoot. It's a named character. Orphax, son of Baldor. He insults your Orphax, son of Bolter, insults your mother. He misses you, he misses you, he moons you. He gives you the finger. Alright, well. Wish I had a potion of speed or something. Oh, there's gold, there's potions. He teleported me to him, the jerk. Natural evil creature. I'm going to try casting chant again. Darn. He makes obscene gestures and, gestures, and then he casts Phase Door. He can be difficult to fight because he'll keep going away and then he'll have recovered his hit points by the time he comes back. I think he can summon Yeeks. And, uh... Yeah, he can heal himself too, the jerk. Hmm. Potions, I don't know what they do. Yeah, he's somewhere. He's probably fully... Oh, there's something invisible. Something invisible and kicking my ass. And I'm now poisoned and dying. And I don't have the MP. I will quaff some of these. Oh, great. He found me. Go away. I need time to recover, you jerk. You got time for yourself to recover. Come at me when I'm weak. And now I'm too afraid. Meanwhile, he's magically closing his wounds. Oh, you jerk. Just wait till I'm not afraid anymore. I kind of suck with this whole sling thing. Great. Okay, I'm not afraid. I am dying, but I'm not afraid. <sighs> I only had two of these. I got him! Holy crap, I got him with a sling bullet. And the giant salamander just burned some quarterstaff with its fiery breath. I'll now know, never know what that quarterstaff could have been. Alright, potion. Cap. Okay. Okay! Man. 
Okay. Let's throw away the spear. Turns out to be not magical. The hard leather cap is magical, but not super special. So. Item. Lantern. Refill. So I just poured the oil out of the lantern I found into the one I've got equipped. Because, you know, it's, it's good to have more oil. There's not really anything more to it than that. Uh, now it doesn't take up that added inventory spot. Oh, uh, that's garbage. Get rid of that. What are these? We don't know. Fine. Scrolls of Satisfy Hunger. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't need those, actually, because I, I know how to cast the spell without using a scroll. I mean, there are some spells where you want to carry scrolls of them, even if you know it, because scrolls don't use your precious MP, but Satisfy Hunger is not one of those. Because it's not a spell you need to cast all that often unless you run into some weird monster that makes you hungry. Oh, shit. Disenchanter Mold. That is making my... Yeah. It didn't actually do any... It took some of my MP, but didn't actually disenchant my gear. Yeah, you don't want to mess with those. Alright, well, fine. I'm just going to tunnel through the walls. Because I can do that. I mean, it'd be a lot faster if I had a pick. Uh, am I going to find any? Oh, crud. Really? I don't want to mess with the mold. Oh, here we go. I'll go this way. A tiger! It's a pretty deadly enemy. Uh, the brigand just stole one of my books of prayers and disappeared. I guess he was really curious about religion. Just really wanted to uh, have my holy book. I'll take that back. Silver staff. You know, I have never seen something. Oh, something invisible. Right. It's right here. What is it? If it was Smeagol, it would have stolen from me and run away. Whatever it was, I killed it. Something. Hmm. Let me see. We've actually done really well on this floor, all things considered. All right, let's go deeper. Stole one of my potions and teleported away in a puff of smoke, did he? Ooh, nether worms. Those drain XP and breed explosively. Yeah, it's bad stuff. I hate XP drain. Well, then again, who likes XP drain? Anybody? Anybody actually like it? No, I didn't think so. Nobody likes XP drain. Nobody. Get back here. Oh, hey. Wow. That was a find. Why are there so many yeeks? There's not a special yeek here, is there? Nah, probably not. A mall? Okay. Now, what summoned this red mold? This red mold didn't get here on its own. 
I assume the same thing that summoned a Yeti. MBC, and now I'm out of MP. Shambling Mound, Yeti, a baby green dragon. Originally, those were terrible to fight because all they drop is little tiny amounts of gold. But since the gold was upped massively, since we can't sell stuff, suddenly, suddenly things like those are are worth fighting. Ow! Great, cloth. All right, I think I can get by with just an E. Something makes a soft pop. Something is summoning like crazy. Something. Yeeks in the dark. Oh, are you, Mr. Dark Elven Mage, responsible for all this? Oh, shit. Uh, oh, no, I'm confused. That's bad. I can't cast spells while I'm confused. But I can quaff potions. Dark Elves and their Yeek Minions. We're now level 17. We survived! M. C M. No, no, no. G. C. Okay. Alright. 50 50 chance of all of them. Can't actually pull them off, but I know some high end stuff. Kill that. Guess it was just a tick. Still, I don't trust anything like that. Okay, half orcs. I've slain the half orc, and there's another one, so I'm just gonna hide upstairs. I see a wolf. I'll go back downstairs. Oh, that drained my strength. Hmm. These type of areas usually don't have... Oh, great. Lice. No, I don't need lice, thank you. I shouldn't be this deep. I really shouldn't be this deep. That's a lot of wolves. <gasps> okay. Okay. What have we here? Black orcs. Um, no. I can't fight those. Nope. <laughs> Yes, you can abuse the stairs. As I said earlier, every advantage. Because the game, no matter how careful you are, will straight up murder you sooner or later. You don't handicap yourself in this game. At all. You press every edge. Every edge. All the time. Just some low-end demons. I can wrestle them. No problems there. Nineteen. I think we're going to stop at floor 12. Oh no, blink dogs! stairs are. What are my options? What are my options? Let's see. I have... Okay, I do have... A few things I can drop. If I portal again, I won't. Alright, if I'm in a corner that reduces my surface area, 
They can only get me three at a time. I can't fight them like this. Okay, that's a little bit better. But I'm still flanked. Uh, this might be where we lose another character. No, no, we've escaped. I'm going to kill that guy. Yeah, whatever. He got away. I don't care. I'll take those. Okay, let's see. I do not need this. Turns out that this is garbage, and that's garbage, and the rest of it might be good. I don't know. At the very least, it'll identify new things. Oh, no, not the giant flies again. Uh, I can't kill them all. I want to get through this wall. Oh, the flies will eat me before I get through that wall. Let's try to cast a spell. How about Orb of Draining? Darn. It would have been cool, though. <laughs> no. Oh, my gosh. Not Dark Hounds. Okay, yeeks I can deal with. Uh, who are you? You see Gorbog, the orc captain. I see the holy shit, I'm going to die. Move, move. <sighs> we shouldn't be this deep. Okay. All right. We are boldly going where no man has gone before and come back. Right, I can take oh many of them, I don't know. Alright. That helps a little bit. Protection from evil would help more. Worth so much XP. But they're murderating me. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, they have bows with fire arrows. I forgot. Um, if that spell hadn't worked, I would probably have died there. Apprentices? Please. Jasper ring. Alright. What does a Jasper ring do? Reckless attacks. No, I'd, 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 I'd rather not. No. Mm -mm. I like not dying. I, I focus a lot on not dying. I can, if, if my defense is good and I'm losing a fight, I might get away. If my defense is bad and I'm losing a fight, I might not be able to get away. You know what? I'll let my not stealth bring me these a few at a time. I can do this. I can fight them orcs. If it's like that, I can fight them all day. All right. Never eat mysterious mushrooms. Life tip. Don't do it. And don't do it in this game either. Identify your mushrooms before you touch them. Even the ones with positive effects can be a mixed blessing. Well, I can release spores that poison, but that didn't save it. All right, now what? 
Hmm. Hmm. Oh, hey, there it is. 20th floor. This game does not believe in bosses. Aside from the last boss, which I've never seen, but as apparently named uh, Morgoth. Thanks. From the Silmarillion. Basically, that evil god that caused all the problems. Ha! I'm level 18. Who are you? Oh, just a large cobalt. Ah, nothing to fear. Alright. Somebody summoned a Hydra. Oh, shit. I'm not ready to wrestle with those. Aha! Garnets. How are you getting somewhere? Okay, we're gonna go to town for the last time today. More studded leather. God, these Aurax! Alright, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna read our scroll of recall. And we're going to portal. That was a bad portal. That's where I was before. Crap, I don't have any more for another portal. Are we going to die before we get teleported out of here? I can't. I don't have enough mana for cure serious wounds. But I can cure light wounds. M A. B. Yeah, 15%. Yeah, we should be fine. All right. And then I'll just quaff some potions. Uh. Got him. And another one immediately stepped up. Because <laughs> there's a whole bunch of them. Where's that recall? That's how long a recall is in battle. <sighs> Just in case you thought I was exaggerating about it in any way. No, it's that bad. It really is. Like, it will not get you out of trouble. Okay. I could buy metal scale mail. It'll be slightly better than what I'm wearing. Only not because what I'm wearing is magical. Okay, let's see. What is the black potion? Ooh, super healing. Those are rare and very potent. They even cure status effects. Okay, that's a potion of probably lose the game that I just identified. Purple speckled potion to cure critical wounds. That's good to have. Deep descent. Good to know what those are. Treasure location. Oh, I need this back. We just got one of the key items in the game. Like, seriously. So, rods are really interesting. Um... Oh, I still have mushrooms to identify. So, rods are fascinating as an item compared to the other things. So, staves have so many charges and they're used up. Wands also have so many charges and then are used up. They're pretty much the same thing, honestly. I don't know why they're even... But anyway. Ooh, actually, those are useful. So, with those... I can actually restore MP, and they have almost no weight. And they even... To get you out of confusion and fear, which is nice. They even provide nourishment. They're food, too. Those are good. Anyway, rods. When you use a rod, it goes off and then recharges itself after so much time. And then you can use it again, and it's, it's just the best. 
and specifically treasure location is like the biggest deal so I have three scrolls of word of recall hmm a scroll of requirements fun it summons you an item that's valuable but he buying one off the black market you'll never get your money back mm -mm. no no fur cloak Ooh, I might buy this though I might want that yeah yeah that's much better yeah all right. Hmm. Hmm. So, I just want to show off my new acquisition and how awesome it is that we're going to call it a day. Call it a night. Whatever. So much easier when you can just run around instead of being in a fight. Okay. Z for zapping rods. Aim wands use stabs zap rods yes it, it makes you remember all these different keys okay bam everything in this huge area around me that's an item is revealed and it even reveals gold that you can dig out of the walls so i can be all like hey look stuff oh shit that's a dark elf oh shit that's a oh, oh no Refer to previous statements about I shouldn't be in this floor. Okay. So, if it's recharged, I can do it again now that I'm over here. And I can be like, hey, look, there's stuff in the walls down here. Isn't it great? Isn't it just the best? And from now on, everywhere I go, I can just do this because it's a rechargeable rod. I think there are things that can destroy it, though. So you kind of want to have more than one. You can leave some of them in your house or whatever. Um, I think wizards, mages, and rogues, and maybe even rangers, I'm not sure, can get the spell in a spell book. But for everyone else, there's a rod. It's great. It is, to me, it is one of the critical items that you just can't play the game without. In the spec, look at how much gold is in these walls here. This is a treasure trove. Oh, we are going to, we are going to run off with a fortune. We're going to slip right back up to the surface and that'll be it. I also like like this here that gives you the directions to everything. I, I look I like how they do their windows a lot. Okay. Well, there's oh no, not a closet. Get out of here. Pseudo dragon scale mail. I don't remember ever seeing pseudo dragon scale mail. I've seen dragon scale mail in the game. But I don't remember pseudo dragon scale mail. It's lightweight. It's got as much armor as what I'm wearing right now. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. No, I've got a 32 and it's a 32 and it's lighter. Did it have any particular traits? Re provides resistance to light and dark. Cannot be harmed by acid, electricity, fire, or cold. When aimed, allows you to breathe light or darkness for 200 damage. And it recharges. I mean, this was better armor because it had that plus 10 on it, but... I mean, this is just cooler. Oh, that's just a regular druid. Okay. Well, light and darkness is not going to affect a druid none. It's not gonna be not gonna be hurt by that. We'll just pick up this sword. Excuse me, Mr. Beetle. I'm busy. Okay. Loot. Dig, 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 dig. Before Minecraft, there was Ong Band. No, there's no comparison at all between the two. I just thought I'd say that. Just 
thought I'd mention that this is the original digging game. Um, unless, unless you count Dig Dug. We don't, we don't count Dig Dug, do we? <laughs> Does anybody even remember that that exists? I played that when I was a kid. It was a weird game. You inflate things under the ground. Didn't make sense to me even then. Alright, we're done. The last scroll of Word of Recall. Something higher had hit me, hit me and burned that. I would have been sad. Yeah, like I've mentioned before, I've climbed out of the games before. It can be a nightmare. So I'm better being a paladin with a big old hammer than I would be with a sword. Well, that sword at least. We haven't found any of the cool, epic, awesome stuff. Like, there's a lot of cool... Ooh, look at this. This is a permanent plus one to strength. If I could afford it. Which I can actually halfway there, but no, it'll it'll this shop changes its stuff constantly. Rings of intelligence, good for mages. Enchant your weapons with scrolls. There's a ton of stuff. Here's here's a good item here. Uh, mages have to get their hands on a defender item as soon as they can. This thing. It's got gives you like a ton of resistances and armor and stealth. It's just amazing. But it's so far outside my price range. It's not even worth thinking about. Yeah. I need more speed. Huh. I don't know why I like this game so much, but I do. I am drawn to it for reasons I can't explain. But that'll be it. And there is no saving or save files. The game, like, as soon as I close it, it's already saved. Like, every time you take a step, it's saved. Just take my word for it. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm playing a really old version where that wasn't so, but I doubt it. It's game. Yeah. And that whole permadeath thing. I made it pretty far for just two hours. I mean, I'm sure people who are masters of the game could do way better than me, but I didn't die. Well, okay, I died twice today, but <laughs> this character hasn't died yet. So, until next time and every time, this is Hatrix signing off. I'm probably not going to stream any more of this. I like it. I don't know if it's fun to watch or not. It gets very, very edge of your seat, as at any moment things can start to go horribly wrong. But, uh, I don't know if people who aren't as familiar with the game can even appreciate when I'm in those nightmare scenarios or not. It's nothing like having a character you've been playing for a month, and you know, you know, that death is coming. <laughs> And trying desperately to find your way out of it. I believe this game in particular was one of the inspirations for the Diablo series, believe it or not. Which was originally turn-based before Blizzard told them they needed it to be real-time. Anyway, next time and every time, bye.